the whole blooming Brady Bunch. Please welcome Greg, Mary Williams, Peter, Christopher Knight, Bobby, Mike Lookinland, and Cindy Susan Olsen. Everybody, Susan, we're going to start with you because you were just seven, okay, when you shot the pilot. Now, how was your first meeting I remember with, with everyone? Well, I, I remember the first day of rehearsal and we did a, a, a script read through at the Lucy Rehearsal Hall. Um, Paramount Studios, and, um, and of course it's like, you know, here's your new family. Right. Yeah. And uh, I remember so clearly meeting Florence, <laughs> and uh, somehow you were, you were able to be there, but then you had to go back to Norway. But um, I thought she was, yeah, I thought she was so beautiful, and I thought she had eyes like, like a doe. Aww. Wow. 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 So, Barry. What was your first impression of Florence? And you have beautiful eyes, by the way. Well, I thank you. Oh. We were all excited. None of us had met each other before we started production. Mm -hmm. So it was very exciting to meet. And the first time I saw Florence, I thought, wow. Oh. Yeah. I was 14 years old, and I'm thinking, oh, mama. I mean, come on. She, we all know she is hot. She's yeah. You've said that occasionally Florence would give you like a real mom look. Yeah, well, so you know, Florence wasn't only uh, a representative parent. A in a lot of ways, she was uh, our mom, especially when we were working, when we crossed that, um, that threshold and were in front of the camera. And I could be a little rambunctious. Um, <laughs> and, putting it mildly. And, and our moms wouldn't, they wouldn't mother us at that point. So uh, there was only Florence left as our mother at those times. And I remember one time in particular um, in our third season when I got a little punchy and rambunctious. <laughs> and I heard this, this very loud Chris. <laughs> and I was lower than Florence, and I remember looking up at her, and she was just giving me the Florence stare. Which was, <laughs> it was, it, it just, it totally told me that I needed to stop what I was doing. Wow. I had gone too far. Yeah. Florence is very sweet, but in every way can be a very, very uh, strong figure. <laughs> Mike, did Florence ever share with you any words of advice that you have carried with you to this day? Absolutely. She, she was such a professional. Um, it, it, it was just amazing the, the, the way we came together as a family. Um, but I, I definitely recall her saying um, to me about the show, no, f be nice to your fans because no fans equals no show. Yeah. And I've taken that with me. I've taken that kind of attitude with me my whole life, and it's been really great. She also told me something that, that was even more important much later. If you recall this, this very special short-lived show called the Brady Bunch Vari Variety Hour. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that show? Yeah. Well, I was 17, and I was sort of iffy about the product, you know, and I wasn't, my, I wasn't all there, and I wasn't coming to all the rehearsals. And, and one day, Florence tracked me down in the parking lot. And she said to me, look, Mike, do you, tell me if you remember this. She said, look, Mike, we're here. This is our job. We're here to be professionals. And if your heart isn't in it, then neither should you be. And that's, an, do you remember that? Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was that's something that I've really great taken advice. with me. Great advice. How great to have mentor like that in your life you know we all need that now Florence one of your Brady kids who couldn't be here Eve Plum uh, who played Jan everyone uh, she couldn't be here but she wanted to send you a video message. Aww. so let's take a look at that Florence happy 30th birthday 
but 80? 80. Okay, well, yeah, that makes sense, since we're starting to look more like sisters than mother and daughter. I just want to say thank you for all those wonderful years that we got to work together, and it was so much fun, and you taught us all how to be professionals. You can tell a dirty joke better than anybody I know. Like a real younger <clears throat> brother, um, you loved to torture Maureen McCormick, who played your older sister, Marsha, on the show. <laughs> so you must have been thrilled when you got to take part in an iconic Brady Bunch moment when you got to throw the football into Marsha's nose. <laughs> yeah. Let's. I took great pleasure in the idea <laughs> that my character got to do this. And that's like one of the most memorable moments of the whole series. Let's take a look at it. Okay. <laughs> 15, 64, 50, 80, 90, hey, hey. Hey, you guys. Oh, my What do you remember about that episode? I remember being gleeful that they wrote it in. Unfortunately, when, when it got to her close-up, I had to go off to school, and I really lobbied to be the one behind the camera throwing the football. <laughs> This would just been a continuation of my daily activities. Uh, but uh, they had our prop man throw the ball instead. Yeah. And I really, I really was just crushed. <laughs> well, can I, may I just say that, so that people don't think that she really, really was hurt, the prop man was, was uh, st standing very close to her and would just lob it up into her face. And it, was and it did hit her, and it was a real good, football. Though. It looks it good, It didn't really, really good. hurt. Yeah. But with the sound effects and the, oh, my nose, my nose. <laughs> and the acting, I we were all convinced. <laughs> well, we want to cre recreate that TV moment. So, Chris and Mike, you actually now have a chance to throw an actual football oh. at Marsha's nose. I've waited my Let's see if you can do it. 40 years later. <laughs> you and me, here we go. And you guys don't have to take turns, just keep doing it. We need Tom Brady. Uh, keep going, keep 